What's going on team? Welcome back for another video. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to set limit orders. So if you ever wanted to learn how to set limit orders on tokens that you want to buy, keep watching the video. As you know, it's lock in profit. And on this channel, I share tips, reviews, and I rant and I'll make, I'll be making tutorials to help you in the crypto space. So be sure to hit the subscribe button below and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. And just remember, I'm not your furu. So in this video, I want to quickly cover the difference between a market order and a limit order, benefits from a limit order and how to use one, the best DeFi exchanges to use. Then I'll show you how to put in a limit order through Matcha XYZ. So that being said, let's get into the video. There's two types of orders that you'll normally see on an exchange, market order and a limit order. So let's go over market order first, buy or sell a token at the best price in the current market. This is normally the default settings on most platforms. This is the quickest way to swap a token. The transaction execution is immediate. Also, just be aware that you are responsible for paying the gas, the Ethereum gas price on this. But with the limit order, you buy and sell a token at a specific price that you set. So if you wanna get a deal, this is the way to do it. Some of the benefits, it's free to create a limit order. Um, it protects you from slippage. They normally fill at the limit price that you set. They do expire, so you can set them from 10 minutes up to seven days, which is nice. They can also get partially filled, but in that case, it will your position will remain open until it's filled or expired. Sometimes your limit order won't fill and why is that is because either it hasn't reached the price there's very limited volume um, the big one is your order is too small the arbitrage bot won't fill the limit order if it's not profitable so just to be on the safe side you should have orders that are a hundred dollars worth just depending on the liquidity so uh, just keep that in mind when you put in a limit order why would i use a limit order if you want to buy a token at a low price, if you want to sell a token for a profit, if you want to get rid of the token without eating a lot of slippage, that's the way to do it. Also, one of the benefits from doing a limit order is to create it, it's free. The taker slash bot, arbitrage bot, will be responsible for paying the gas fees. So if you get filled, they pay the gas fees, not you. So the decentralized exchange that I use is Matcha XYZ. I love that platform. Um, you can also use one inch. Both of these exchanges scrap decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, V2V3, SushiSwap, Kyber, and many more to find the best deal. Uh, the platform helps you trade between all exchanges instead of just picking one swap. It's nice just to go to one spot, basically aggregates all the exchanges to find out what's the best price so you can get the best price even on a market order it does that as well so just keep that in mind now let's get into how to set a limit order by actually going to the site and doing one ourselves so here we go so before we get started actually i want to make an actual real limit order um, i want to get some hex as of right now if you just look at this chart hex is trading at 0.0258 I want to buy this in the area of 0.236, so I just want to get a better deal um, at the current price. So I'm going to put a limit order in to get hex at 0 0.20369. Let's do it. So now let's go over to Matcha. When you get into Matcha, this is the screen that you'll see. All you have to do is go to start trade. This is the pretty much the main trade in screen. Um, like I said, you'll see market orders. That's the default. That's what it will go to. And then you have limit orders right here. So what we'll do is we'll put in the token that we want to trade for first. So I want to get some USDC um, for some hex. Now on the market order, it shows uh, you will pay USDC, you will receive hex, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click on limit order and I'm going to put in $200. Uh, 
of USDC I want to use and at the price of 0 0.02369 and I want to do it for I want to do it for seven days I mean you have to let the trade work and in return I'll get around 4800 hex in return uh, make sure you connect your wallet Okay, now my wallet's connected. Before you hit review limit order, uh, make sure you review your trade. Make sure you have your numbers in right. Um, and then double check it again. And then once you're ready to place the trade, make sure you hit place order. It'll bring up your MetaMask. Make sure you scroll down to the, to the bottom. It will say sign. If you're using a ledger, which I do, you have to approve it through the device. I'm going to do that now preparing for trade and the limit order has been placed successful and as you can see right here open orders that limit order has been placed it'll show you the price that i set 0 0.02369 hex the usd per hex and um, as it gets down to that point you'll actually see this start going up and once it fills to 100 percent then you'll actually see the tokens into your wallet so there you go now you know how to set a limit order. I hope this helped so you can get the tokens at the deal that you want instead of doing it at a market price. If you have any questions about anything, put them down in the mention. Feel free to leave a comment. By the way, if you like this video, by all means, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on all the videos. It's Lock and Profit. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.